Hey guys, um, it's kind of late at night here. It's like nine, nine. Oh, it's so late, but look, I've got like crazy hair right now, so just excuse this. Um, but I just wanted to kind of just vlog about how wishy-washy I am. <laughs> I'm like the most wishy-washy person ever. Um, I am so wishy-washy that I have literally said things, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and then I, I literally never do. <laughs> Ever. I never follow through with anything. I, I just constantly talk about it, and I never do it. Anything. I look nuts right now. Look at this hair. I wish I could be one of those girls who could, like, pull off this, like, top knot thing. But I'm not. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm so wishy-washy. Like, I sit online and I look up weight loss stuff and I, I, you know, talk about like, oh, I'm going to get running shoes. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, do I? No, no, I don't do any of it. Or I'll do it for a while and feel really good about myself and then just quit. And I don't know if that, this doesn't look better. Um, I don't know if this is normal to any of you guys, like, be really wishy-washy like that, but holy shit, I am the wishy-washiest. If I, if I say that again, I'm sorry. I am, like, repeating myself over and over. But I sit here and I, like, go on Pinterest and I, like, get all motivated and I watch videos of people and I get good, you know, like, testimonies from them on what they've done and weight they've lost and how good they look and I'm like oh my gosh I want to look like that I want to feel good I'm gonna go get some running shoes I'm going to do this this and this and then I sit on my ass all day and eat like shit and then feel like shit and I'm having a gallbladder attack right now as we're speaking so it's just awesome but I've had so many that I can just like talk through them it's like not even big deal anymore um but it's just funny to me that like I talk and talk and talk about all this stuff and I I don't do anything like I basically just sit around and bitch and moan and complain about shit that I can change and I'm not doing anything about it ah got crazy kitty here um it's just frustrating to me because I can I can do anything I want and if I were to just follow through with something and actually put some fucking effort into it then I might be able to get the results I'm looking for I mean I am getting so fat again and I did really well I did 80 10 10 I felt good about myself I got rid of my gallbladder attacks but then I was just like, oh, I'm sick of fruit, I'm bored of fruit. I didn't feel crappy or anything. And then what happened is I went to a birth and I can make all these excuses. But this is actually when I stopped eating all my fruit that I was eating. Because I was doing really good for like two months, which is really good for me. And I said, I'll never not eat this way again. Well, that's me, wishy-washy. Anyway, I, I went to a birth and... I she called me and her water had broken and she was like get here now and of course that was at five o'clock at night so I get there at like six o'clock at night and I was there until like nine o'clock the next day and when she called me I, of course I was out of bananas so I had one smoothies worth of food so I had to eat potatoes at her birth because I was there for like 40 hours or whatever maybe not that long 26 or 20 30 hours or something and all I had was one smoothies worth of food and I had to keep my energy up because I did not sleep once and so I ate potatoes just potatoes plain nothing else and then I was like okay that's the last time I'm doing that but it didn't make me feel shitty and that was the problem and I was like oh well I can just have potatoes then it's no big deal and then I started eating more and more potatoes and then I stopped eating so many bananas and then it just cascaded from there and it got worse and worse and now I'm at the point where I'm eating pizza and drinking freaking eggnog and eating like cookies and it has spiraled into something that 
it's just getting so bad and and I hate that I have to be like one extreme or the other like it's either gotta be 8 to 10 10 or cheesy pizza and I've said this like a billion times and I'm so wishy-washy that I'm sure you're all just sick of hearing it but <sighs> I am like a food addict I don't know what it is. I don't know why this happened to me. I don't know why I grew up in the same household as my sister and she doesn't have a problem and why I do. I have a problem. I have a problem. My problem is that I make excuses. I I could eat all day. I just love food. And people are like, well, just eat in moderation. It's like, ah. It's like, okay, I can. And I, I, I'm totally fine with that. But then sometimes I'm like, fuck it. And I just like, I just gorge. And then it's, and then it's over. And I'm one of those people who tells myself, oh, you know, I, I failed. So I'm a failure and I'm just going to eat pizza for the rest of my life. Well, okay. If you have one meal of pizza, instead of sabotaging yourself fully and eating like cheesiness for the rest of your life, why don't you just maybe accept that you effed up one time and then, <sighs> that's a shower curtain ring on my hand, just accept that you messed up and move on. Go back to eating healthy, just get over it, but I can't, I'm, I, I just, I need help, I don't know what to do. And I'm so frustrated with myself because I, I said it last week, like I'm gonna go get some running shoes. Well, the reason I don't want to get running shoes is because I know I'm not going to fucking use them. I know I'm just going to waste my money on running shoes and that they're just going to sit in my closet next to the rest of my shoes that I don't use. And then I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be another failure. So if I get running shoes, I have to run. Otherwise, I'm a wasting our money that we don't have. So basically, I, I don't want to get them because I know how wishy-washy I am. And that I won't use them, but I want to use them. Like, I want to like exercising. And I want to be like Joanne Pig, who, like, looks amazing and feels amazing and, like, just did it and didn't make any excuses and just, like, did the damn thing. And for me, I, 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 I saw a picture of myself. I remember my friend's house. I saw a picture of myself in a bikini. Not in a bikini. I was wearing, like, a tank top, and I was, like, in eighth grade. And she was, we were, you know, we were reminiscing about old times. And I... I, <laughs> we looked at these pictures and I looked fucking phenomenal, like amazing. Of course I don't have it with me so I can't show you, but I looked amazing. I looked awesome. And I remember back then thinking I looked so shitty, like I was like fucking 60 pounds thinner than I am right now. Maybe not 60, maybe like 40, but, but really I remember just constantly being self-conscious because I wasn't in shape. Like, I didn't have abs, so I thought I was fat, when really, all I would have had to do was, like, work out moderately, and I would have gotten a good body. I could have continued eating what I was eating, but no, what I did was just eat more and get fucking all fat, and, like, ugh, it's so frustrating. And, like, in this last, like, two weeks, that since Halloween's been going on, I'm, I'm not even kidding you, I've gained 10 pounds. And I can feel it, and I can see it, and I can just, like, my jowls, and I just, like... I'm not making excuses, I'm saying that I am a frickin' excuse maker, and that's just what I, I'm so sick of my excuses that I make. And, and then I, I don't know, it's so frustrating. So I don't know what to do. I either need like, like serious help, or I need a workout buddy, or I need like a workout group on Facebook, or I need like something that I can check into and be accountable, but YouTube's not enough, because if I'm doing poorly, I just won't upload a video, and then you won't see me for a few months, and then I'll come back and be like, hey, oh, you know, sorry, and then I'll lie to you guys and be like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, still doing okay on 801010. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to lie anymore. It's, it, I feel, yeah, like, I'm, I'm making, you I'm being accountable to you guys, except for that I'm, I just won't get online if I feel like I'm doing poorly. I just will be like, I totally ignore you all. And then you guys will be like, how are you doing on 81010? And I'm like, avoid the question. <laughs> avoid it all together. Just, oh, um, uh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's so shitty. And 
I'm not saying I necessarily want to do 80 to 10. God, I could do anything healthier than I'm doing right now. But we go to Costco, and I'm telling you right now, you cannot go to Costco and shop for all of your food. Like, so we shop for like, say we get like a bag of veggies and like some rice. Awesome, great, sounds great. Bag of veggies and some rice. But you cannot buy a box of Triscuits, not Triscuits, Wheat Thins, and then we have like a whole bag left. And then it's like, do you waste it? Do you give it away? Do you sell it? What do you do with it? I have so much shit I don't need. Like we bought like these little, these little like cracker packages. I don't want them. I'm sick of them. I'm done with them. But we still have so many more. And what do we do with them? Like, do I just give them away to people? Do I just like, what do I do? Do you guys want them? Should I like send them in a care package to somebody? I just have all this shit from Costco in abundance because Costco's so great because you get such a better deal that it's like, why buy a tiny little box of Triscuits that are, why am I calling Triscuits? I hate Triscuits. Wheat Thins that are like, you know, this big. When you get a box this big, and have twice as many for the same price or less. I just, Costco ruins me because I buy all this food. I'm like going crazy. I'm like got their hands and shit. But Costco, like, it's like such a good deal that we go in there and we drop like three honey on like all this good shit. And then we're like, okay, we have too much food. Like these little vegetarian sausage patties, like too many of them. We have like 50 and I am sick of them already. I'm like done with them. But what do I do with them? Do I just let them sit there and waste? I don't like wasting stuff because it's like, it's like I just purchased it to like waste it. I don't know. It's so frustrating to me. Like I wish I just had like a bunch of pigs or something. I could go feed it to the pigs and like they would be happy, you know, but I don't have pigs. I don't. I don't have anything to feed it to. I have cats and they don't eat anything and you guys don't want it. Unless you want it, then come get it. But I, I just have all this stuff so like, oh yeah, I need to go to the store and get some healthy food. But we still have like six months worth of food from Costco that's like so unhealthy but it's like there and I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know. I guess all I'm saying is I either need to just accept the fact that I'm going to be wishy-washy for the rest of my life and just feel like shit and constantly be self-conscious and delete all my pictures because I'm like hanging out with my niece and I'm like hey. or like her you know like that's <laughs> it's just stupid but it's true like it's you guys may laugh but it's not funny it's just like frustrating and then I don't know I have friends that are like oh do Advocare do this do that and it's like I cannot justify spending $180 on pills that are supposed to make you lose weight and yeah Advocare totally works because you're cutting out like all other food groups all your salt you're drinking a buttload of water like people are like Advocare works it's the pills that work no they're not weight loss pills they're freaking vitamins and supplements like if you want to lose weight you Basically, the diet plan of AdvoCare, which, you know, of course you lose weight because it's paleo. Like, you're eating, like, egg whites and fruit for breakfast and, like, vegetables for a snack and no carbohydrates and no meat. Or, no, you can eat meat, but you can only have, like, lean meats like chicken and stuff. I don't eat meat anyway. No dairy, no carbs, no nothing. And it's like, of course you lose weight. You can't eat salt. You're supposed to drink a gallon of water a day. And then you want me to buy these $180 pills. And then you, like, I, I understand because, like, these people look phenomenal, but I'm good. Like, I'm good. I don't want to do that. I want to do it the right way. I just want to, like eat my healthy vegetables and fruit and I can have some grain I guess I don't know I don't know what to do I feel like because I have it ingrained in my brain that raw food is the only way to be healthy I, I'm so tainted in my brain that I think raw foods the only way to be healthy but yet I eat the opposite of it but if I'm trying to eat healthy anything's better than what I'm eating right now which is like crap and but I'm like well, yeah, but that vegan diet's not healthy enough. It has to be raw vegan. Well, Christy, you just ate cheesy pizza, so if you just, like, look at what you're talking about and actually realize that you ate, like, shit today and that if you ate just a regular vegan diet, you would be so much healthier, 
and you would feel better and you wouldn't get a gallbladder attack which is really hurting me right now but I'm just trying to like forget about it it sucks bad but um yeah it's just so like Oh, I'm just so frustrated with myself. So I thought I would get on here and do a little ranty rant because my husband's not home. He's off in, you know, Nowheresville working for the day. And he's going to be home tomorrow night. So I'm just home alone. I took a nap today, which I shouldn't have took a nap. I napped until like 7 p.m. from like 4 to 7. So I'm not even tired. It's like 9 and I have to work tomorrow. And I'm just like not tired at all because I was an idiot and I took a nap. But it felt so good. Okay, but anyway, that's really all I have to say. I'm just frustrated and ranting, I guess, but I know what y'all are gonna say. You're gonna be supportive like you always are. If you guys have any like weight loss groups or like wanna start one with me, that would be so amazing. And we would keep each other accountable. We can create a whole Facebook group about it. I need it, I need it so badly. Please help me. I need to lose weight. I just need to. I put on 10 pounds and I had already lost 20 and I was doing so good and I kept that 20 pounds off and then I just put back 10 of it because of freaking Halloween candy. You guys are literally sitting on top of Halloween candy right now. Like you are propped up on Halloween candy and you're pretty high up on my desk so just saying. Anyway it's just gotten bad and of course at work we have a bowl of Halloween candy sitting there for all of the clients to take like one little piece here and there and it's sitting right next to me just sitting right up there on the counter with like it's glory of Reese's peanut butter cups and and Milky Ways spilling out of it and it's just so convenient to just be like oh yeah I have a Reese's peanut butter cup seven Reese's peanut butter cups later I'm like but no more Reese's peanut butter cups. The next day it's like Reese's peanut butter cups. It's like bad. Like I, I, I need mental help. I do. Huh. Okay. I'm like getting frazzled and crazy because of this conversation. <sighs> okay. Well, if you guys want to start a Facebook group or like support or like just like give me in the number of Overeaters Anonymous and like or like submit this into I don't know extreme weight loss home edition home edition extreme makeover weight loss edition <laughs> that'd be awesome but it's just not gonna happen I even with them I'd be like fuck you get out of my house you know like I probably wouldn't but anyway all right I'm gonna probably go puke because this gallbladder attack is killing me and that it's making me nauseous so it's just great. I love my gallbladder. It's so fun that I just I just want to cut it right out of me and just grind it up. It's so painful. I just love it. I love my body and it's my fault so Yay! Health problems being your own fault. And I'm sorry this is out on YouTube and you're probably gonna get bitched at for this because it's like, well you're stupid. You're 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 the problem. But I know I'm the problem. I just need an outlet. And my husband just says, Well just go on a diet. Thanks. <laughs> for the five hundredth time I've been on a diet. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please, constructive criticism, anything that's helped you, Johan, if you're watching this, tell me how to get started. Running shoes are my number one, or a bike, I don't know, bike sounds a little more like plausible, like I would actually use it. I have a treadmill, I have a badass treadmill, you guys. I have a Bowflex, <laughs> oh shit, a Bowflex treadmill. Brand new. Brand new. Like, never been used, even though I've had it for, like, a year. And I got it for $100, and it retails for, like, I don't know, $1,400 still online. I got it for $100 off of Craigslist. Yeah. So, so, that's just sitting in my garage. I could just use that. I could go run outside. I could just, like, do some freaking crunchies, and it's more than I'm doing now. Sitting on my fat ass watching Full House all day. See it in the background? There it is. This is my life here. Uncle Jesse is about to... But if you want me to dress up like a chucklehead, I say yeah. take your rubber nose. This is all I do. I just sit around playing with cats watching... happy birthday to me. Watching Full House. Like a child. 
complaining about my life. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later when hopefully I've made a decision and decided not to be so wishy-washy. Bye, guys.